Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Martin from Forex Boat and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the Forex Factory Economic Calendar. The first thing I'm gonna do is type in the following URL and make sure you type it as well if you want to follow along with this uh, tutorial. Then you'll see here that this portal gets displayed it's the Forex Factory portal. It's one of the most popular sites out there, uh, visited by thousands of Forex traders every day. So you'll see here that it has different features and you'll see here that uh, it has, for example, forums uh, where different traders interact and share their, their ideas. Their, then you will have uh, information about the currency pairs, what's going on with them. So it's quite interesting if you want to uh, check what's going on in the market. Then you have a, a news section and a calendar section. Then you have a market section with, well, where you will find different market analysis and insights. Um, and then last but not least, you have a broker section in case you want to check out. So let's jump straight ahead and go to the calendar. And the first thing where I want to draw your attention is this navigation panel here in the left. Uh, you'll see here that this has a shape of a calendar, in fact. And you'll be able to navigate the different days of the month. Moreover, you can change months here with these arrows. Uh, you can go to check previous events. Um, but I'm going to stay with uh, today. Uh, something that you can use as well are these buttons here below where you can go to tomorrow's event, this week, next week, this month or next month. And uh, you'll see that you will be able to check all the major economic news or releases that are coming up. Something that I want to mention as well is that uh, whenever you uh, click a day here or you change the date, you'll get this information from the main panel refreshed, right? So that's important to understand as well. Um, and that's how the navigation works. Then you can also change dates here by using uh, these arrows and the main section, or you can uh, also here uh, use these options to uh, filter ranges, which is could be quite convenient as well. But anyways, then we have the main section. So the main section has different columns, which I want to explain. The first column here is the date, which is self-explanatory. Then we have the uh, time of the day when the news or economic event is going to happen or the release is going to be published. And this is in local time. So I will explain later how you can change the time zone settings and configure the economic calendar to your uh, computer time and make sure you don't uh, miss an event because you don't have the right time here. Uh, then you have the currency and basically this column refers to the main currency that's going to be impacted by the news release. Of course, uh, all the pairs where uh, a determined currency is involved, even if it's the base currency or the quoted currency, uh, those pairs will be impacted as well. So that's something for you to take into account. Uh, then we have the column related to impact. So, so if you go to calendar and scroll down, you'll be able to see the legend. So the red color uh, means that it's a high impact expected uh, event that it will affect a lot the, the, the market. Then there is medium impact, uh, which is illustrated by the orange color. Then there's low impact, uh, which is uh, represented by the yellow color. Sometimes you have non-economic events, uh, which are gray, 
and I think most of these events are related to bank holidays. So whenever you spot a bank holiday or several bank holidays in one day, uh, that will give you an idea that probably there's going to be low activity for a, uh, or low volume for a determined uh, currency pair. All right, so then uh, we have the, the, the description, the main description or the title of the event. Then you get to see this column with the detail, which is uh, quite convenient because you will get more information about a, a specific event um, and more information about it. So for instance, uh, we're going to check go back here because I want to show you an example um, the unemployment claims like let's take this one as an example and you see here the source so in this case is the Department of Labor which is a uh, government which is the government entity uh, that handles everything related to job uh, press releases in the United States then you have the measures or what's going on and here you'll see that uh, it's the number of individuals who filed for an employ un unemployment insurance uh, for the first time during the past week then you have the usual effect which i'll take this with uh with a grain of salt uh, here it says actual less than forecast is good for currency but this is not always the case because there's a lot of volatility involved uh, so please uh, be aware of this but you can see here that uh, whenever the actual result uh, it's higher than the forecast forecast is like the prediction of most of experts they, they give a number uh, that they think it's going to be but then you get the actual press release and if that press release in this case is, is, is higher than uh, allegedly it's not good for the currency if it's lower then it will be green and it's good but uh, this is just for reference uh, of, of course it, it will help in the long term to get a good understanding of how a particular economy is it's, it's working or it's performing um, but when it's released the news uh, it can have a high volatility then uh, you get the frequency some uh, economic news as you may know are released uh, every month some of them are released every car every quarter uh, some events are not uh, by schedule so for example whenever a president is speaking it could be uh, anytime <laughs> so uh, take into account that then i uh, there are some notes here that you can also check and why traders uh, care about this so this detail uh, widget it's very useful or this section is very useful because it gives you more information about the, the news then you get the, the whole st historical data which is uh, very useful as well you can also check the graph so for instance we, uh, as of today we're in the middle of the coronavirus crisis or a period and you'll see here how the trend of um, unemployment claims has been growing exponentially so this 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 can give you a perspective of, of how the, the what 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 to expect in regards to the economy all right so let's close it then you get here the column with the actual and forecast as, as we explained before the forecast uh, is the kind of the prediction or the consensus between most of the experts and they it's consolidated here in a number and then you have the the actual release which is the the, the official information and then you have also here uh, it's the previous number which was released before the actual number then you can also use this uh, window to open the graph again in case you want to so that's uh, in a nutshell the main screen where all the magic happens then I want to explain how to set up the right uh, time zone settings. So you click here and then uh, you select the time zone. And then uh, you can 
pretty much uh, configure if you want to see it in uh, which time format you want to use you can save it and voila it's done I'm going to change it again to my uh, local settings. All right, so let's go back to the calendar. And last but not least, you can use this filter. Uh, so for instance, if you, if you just want to follow or track the news that have uh, high and medium economic impact, you can select them here. If let's say you want to just track uh, inflation and employment and central bank uh, economic releases you can select them and let's say you don't want to track the yuan and let's exclude the new zealand dollar and the australian dollar you can apply that filter and you get uh, just the information you want to check something important here uh, it's that this uh, green arrow will tell you which uh, event is going to happen next so it's, it's quite it's quite useful to to always uh, have a reference for this uh, green arrow and I'm gonna remove the filter for now and you'll see when whenever an event is going to be released you'll see he, this uh, green icon here next to the detail um, file folder and that uh, basically whenever it's the time of the of the of the release uh, you can update it but right now we don't we're not so close to the economic uh, event so um, that's why it doesn't appear but uh, make sure that whenever this um, green update button appears uh, make sure to press it if you, if you are tracking a, a, a specific release so you get the, the actual data refreshed in your browser all right so that's uh, how the forex factory calendar works um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to post it below if you like this video make sure you click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos on Forex trading. Until next time, happy trading.